In the last episode, we were at the Jenny Wade house. Uh, Jenny Wade, if you didn't watch that episode, is the only civilian to have been killed during the Battle of Gettysburg. And uh, it's, it's hypothesized that she was struck in the back by a bullet that was fired from a Confederate sharpshooter who may have been positioned in this house right here. This is the Farnsworth Inn right here in Gettysburg. We're spending the night here tonight and it is the historic location of where a bunch of Confederate sharpshooters were set up during the Battle of Gettysburg. Well, I, I mentioned that this is the Farnsworth House Inn. Now, during the time of the Battle of Gettysburg, it would not have been known as the Farnsworth House. This would have been known as the Sweeney House. And uh, on the, the first day of the battle, you have Union troops who are retreating through the town of Gettysburg. They have Confederates right on their tail. And the Confederate sharpshooters uh, position themselves right here on the southern end of town and would have been firing right up this street. Now they're at the the top of the street it's kind of hard to see from here uh, but there at the top is where the Jenny Wade house would have been and we don't know for sure but it's hypothesized that a Confederate sharpshooter positioned in the attic where that window is at may have fired the bullet that struck Jenny Wade. So here's a, another view of the southern end of the, the Sweeney house. And if you look carefully, well, you can see bullet strikes all over this thing. So this house absolutely got chewed up. I think there's anywhere from like 100 to 150 bullet strikes that have been counted on, on the southern side of this house. Uh, during the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, a lot of citizens who were in the west and in the north to try and escape the danger of battle, kind of fled to, to this area of the town in, in the southern part of Gettysburg, where, where the Sweeney house is. Uh, what they didn't know is that the battle was going to be following them right down into this area. So, so the Sweeney's did the same thing that a lot of people in Gettysburg did. They have to make the decision, do you stay or do you go? Um, if you decided to stay, well, a lot of them, would take refuge in their cellars. All right, so uh, just entered in to the cellar of the Sweeney house here. And this is where uh, the, the Sweeney family would have basically been uh, taking refuge during the battle. Uh, now, they, they do a lot of um, all paranormal type stuff here at the Farnsworth uh, so you can see that it's it's set up down here for for that theme uh, but during during the battle this would have all been a hideout until the violence subsided Here's something else that is really cool here at the Farnsworth uh, so there's a, a, a tavern here and a lot of people's uh, basic understanding or introductory understanding of Gettysburg is from the movie Gettysburg. And uh, whenever they were filming, those actors would come out here and hang out during the off hours and they have a lot of memorabilia from the movie on display here. Very, very interesting. 
Now, there's a lot in here to see, but here's one piece that I'll point out. Uh, this is the costume uh, for the coat and sash that was worn by Stephen Lang, who played General George Pickett in the movie. And then they have a little message up there from Stephen Lang to the Farnsworth crew. Yeah, that, that is cool as heck. All right, uh, making my way up to the attic now, and uh, I don't know, they got all kinds of like cool pictures and things like that. Oh, look at here. They also have one of Jenny Wade right before you get up here into the attic. All right, so oh, and they have all kinds of cool stuff stored up in here. Okay, so a little bit of a tight space as one might expect from an attic and uh, this is where some of the Confederate sharpshooters would have taken up a position during the Battle of Gettysburg and they have all kinds of just amazing artifacts here. Now it's illegal to do any digging or metal detecting on the Gettysburg battlefield, but it hasn't always been that way. So they have a lot of relics that have been dug in, in times past before it was illegal. So here's a bunch of bullets from Meade's headquarters. Um, here's something from Benner's Hill. They also have some canister shot, some artillery rounds, some stuff from Little Round Top. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Here's some things from the Devil's Den area. Bunch of spent mini balls. This is cool. Okay, I may have just found my favorite item here. This is a section of a tree from Culp's Hill with the bullet still embedded in it. That is awesome. All right, and uh, this right here is to me what might be the most fascinating thing here at the Farnsworth. This is along the south facing wall and is the exact position where a Confederate sharpshooter squeezed the trigger and fired the shot that is thought to have killed Jenny Wade. So uh, we just made our way into where we are going to be sleeping this evening. I've got the top room on the left here. And holy smokes. Uh, this is really nice. So, you want to talk about getting an immersive experience whenever you come to Gettysburg? Uh, holy smokes, this is it. Uh, I can't say that I have ever stayed in a room like this before, and it smells really nice too. Uh, so, I mean, everything from, of course, this four-post bed to the, the wallpaper, uh, it, it feels like you've just kind of been transported into the past. And uh, if you go into the bathroom and kick on the light, by the way, uh, took me forever to find this light. It's kind of camouflaged. 
But if you go in here, they even got an old claw foot tub. Huh. Well, uh, that is going to wrap up what has been a pretty long old day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crash on my giant bed here, even though I think I'm going to have to have a ladder to get up on it. Uh, I'm going to recharge my batteries, both physically and uh, literally, and uh, yeah, get a good night's rest. Looking forward to, to uh, a, a breakfast in the morning. I've heard that the waffles here are out of this world. So anyway. We're gonna go ahead and recharge and then uh, be right back at it in the morning. All right, well, that might have been about the best night's sleep that I've had in a long time. And uh, this is a, a bed and breakfast, so it just had a nice gentleman bring breakfast up to me, some, some French toast and sausage. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been to a bed and breakfast, so this is a little bit of a, a new experience for me. Uh, but anyway, he said that he brought it up a little early because I looked like a man on a mission, which is an accurate statement. So anyway, we're gonna get some breakfast in our belly and, uh, and, then, and then move along. All right, so here's breakfast. Uh, we've got the French toast, We've got the sausage, we have some potatoes with uh, some, some apple juice. Um, so anyway, the, the more I talk, the less I eat. So I'm gonna shut this thing off and uh, get my belly full here. All right, well, that was the Farnsworth. Uh, Definitely a cool experience. I can't say that I've ever stayed in a place quite like that before. Uh, to be in a home that was right here uh, in, in the thick of things during the Battle of Gettysburg uh, really is an irreplaceable experience. So if you ever come to Gettysburg, uh, be sure to uh, check this place out. And uh, yeah, the French toast is every bit as good as they said it was. All right, well, we've got a lot more battlefield to explore.